Okay, Mr. Holiday here. Got a little bit more information about to show you how to use typography once again, the clipping mask. So you go to the text tool and you click on text and you click on the canvas. Now it works just like Word. So you want to get a large font going like I have here. And I'm going with all caps and I'm going to type in wolf okay I'm going to type in wolf and this happens to be a great font by the way uh, the font that I'm using is called destroy and it's a great great font destroy right here and uh, for the sake of time I'm not going to type in moon uh, because we saw that here but what I want to do is show you how I added uh, the image of the wolf's eyes. So what I want to do here first is right click and raster the font so I can move it around a lot easier. I want to come over to edit and I want to scale it up. Hold down shift and alt and scale it up. Okay. And center it up. Now, there's all kinds of things I could do with this wolf. Uh, I could do a blood splat inside that wolf. Uh, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to do the wolf's eyes. So here's the wolf's eyes. So right click, copy image, come back, and then I'm going to hit a control V. And there's the wolf's eyes. I'm going to go to the move tool. And I'm going to move those wolf's eyes right on top. Now we all remember this technique before. You can just lower the opacity to make sure you get the wolf's eyes in the right spot. And I want to squeeze those eyes up a little bit. So I'll come over to edit, transform. This time I'm going to go to distort because I want to distort the eyes just a little bit. To bring them in so they land right there. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the opacity all the way back up. And this time, I'm going to do another copy of that layer where the wolf's eyes are at. Control J. And I'm going to put this one under the wolf's, under the word wolf. So I got wolf on top and that wolf image at the bottom and the words wolf in the middle. Now, I'm going to come to this layer, right click, clipping mask, boom. And if I turn the vision off here, you can see those are the eyes of the wolf right inside the lettering. All right. Now, what I want to do here is come to layer mask or add the ra uh, raster mask. I like to call it layer mask or vector layer mask. It's called a raster mask. And, but it's interchangeable with those other words. And I want to go to the brush tool. I'm on black. Click here. And I have a low brush, soft brush. Make sure it's soft so you can work it gradually. And the opacity is low, 46. Make this brush a little bit bigger so I can really work it. And watch this. I'm just going to blend away those edges that I don't want to see. In fact, I'm just going to blend away quite a bit. Get down to the words where I can see the words right under it, wolf, because I want to be able to see the wolf's eyes still come through the letter, but I want to be able to see part of the wolf under the lettering. So this is a very clever way of, you know, being able to get a bit of both worlds. So I got a vector layer mask working under and I have a clipping mask on top. I don't want to get rid of all of it but I want to get rid of some of it. So there you have it. I have the word wolf coming through and then I have the eyes up under it. Now if it's hard to read the word wolf on this layer, 
all I need to do is drop the opacity just a little bit or I can get in here and do an eraser this time and make sure that your eraser is soft always work with soft erasers okay and the opacity is low and this time I'm going to size the eraser by using the bracket keys or you can size it up here bracket right key will size it watch this on this layer here I can erase out and still see the lettering which is very important maybe I did it a little too much there so let's hit control Z a little bit because I still want to be able to see the word but yet see the wolf's eyes it's a combination of both and there you have it and I'll zoom in on that so you can see it so we have the wolf's eyes that's the masking tool and then we have the wolf at the bottom here and actually I could push this wolf so that the eyes I can see the eyes a little bit better so I'll come over here to this tool click on the raster layer mask and watch this it X and paint that eye back in there a little bit better Boom. see that and put in a little bit more of that fur hit X got a little too much there so take it out and you just can go back and forth back and forth until you get this as good as you want so using the image on top using image in the middle and wolf in using image on top image at the bottom and wolf in the middle I can achieve this design okay you have successfully made your clipping mask and you're ready to save your file so the way you're going to save it is that all files will go to download so you go to file you go to save as PSD and that means that you'll be able to maintain your layers if you want to continue working on it with layers save as PSD and when you click on that it will automatically go to your download on your Chromebook then you can rename it uh, anything you want because it's going to probably be untitled and so give it a name your name uh, whatever you're working on always put your name on it another way to uh, save and the way that I want you to save so you can turn it in to me you can also turn in the PSD but a better file is to go file export as JPEG and when you export it as a JPEG make sure the quality is up to 100 percent and it's going to be set for the web and you hit save and here again you can rename it any way you want so you would give it your name and call it the name of that assignment and you would upload it to the google assignment in classroom okay do a good job